Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming at you live tonight from Aberdeen, Washington. Welcome to the Recliner League. As Shinsuke Nakamura is making his way out to the ring currently, just like Carl Anderson on the other side. Zero points to his name, looking to make a change to that as he takes on Dominic Mysterio to open up the show tonight. But most importantly, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As Shinsuke Nakamura makes his way to the ring. Nakamura has had a bit of trouble so far in this tournament. He hasn't had the best of luck, just like Carl Anderson, but tonight he takes on Dominic Mysterio to open up tonight's show in the main event tonight. Of course, main event Jey Uso is in action as he takes on Dave Batista. And Friday night on SmackDown, Braun Breaker takes on the almighty Bobby Lashley. Gonna be a great match. I can't wait to see how that goes. But for right now, Shinsuke Nakamura has had a match against Braun Breaker. Batista, Jey Uso, has come up short in each and every one of them. Unlike Dominic Mysterio coming up against Jey Uso, Braun Breaker, and Bobby Lashley. The only difference being that Dominic Mysterio has a pinfall over Braun Breaker. And no man in this tournament has pinned Jey Uso yet. crowd not too keen on Dominic tonight here in Washington but that's okay we move on we're carrying through we're gonna see who's got what it takes to come out on top as Dominic Monsieur comes in quick and heavy with a hurricane run a DDT actually not a hurricane run at all just a little bit of tilty whirl action after and he leaps off the rope crossbody going to try and get that pinball attempt right away and of course, coming up this Friday night, Bronson Reed takes on a mystery opponent for that Colossal Television Championship as per Drew McIntyre's wishes. And all but confirmed for Money in the Bank, and I've got this for you tonight. As if Bronson Reed can win that match against McIntyre's mystery opponent, Rikishi has granted Bronson's request, and he is getting Drew McIntyre. And money in the bank for that title as Dominic Mysterio flies to the rope with that tope. Taken down Shinsuke Nakamura, but confirmed officially on the books. If Bronson Reed can retain his championship on Friday night, he will go on to defend it against Drew McIntyre at the pay-per-view. Of course, also at that pay-per-view, we're going to have the finals, the semi-finals. I apologize. Dominic Mysterio goes in for the blind elbow drop there in the middle of the ring. And it's a German suplex for his trouble. But we are going to have that semi-final match for the throwdown tournament at Money in the Bank as well. And additionally, Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. All of these matches confirmed for Money in the Bank right now. But that's still a week and a half out. We have plenty of time to focus on this week's matches for the Recliner League, as well as next week as we conclude all the action here next week for the throwdown tournament well the main action i should say the semi-finals and the finals still have yet to be done but that's okay as we get a european uppercut dominic zero taken down shinsuke nakamura i gotta focus on this match we were two minutes in i couldn't tell you what happened other than a springboard off the side with a crossbody to take down shinsuke Oh, looked like Dominic went for something big there, but Shinsuke reverses and gets him with that signature exploder suplex. Down he goes. Shinsuke looking to go for the pin off of that one. Not going to be good enough, I don't think, as a kick out at two. Dominic Mysterio ain't going down that easily, folks. Dom with three points. Shinsuke with zero, but Shinsuke is setting up for that Kinshasa! Taken down Dominic Mysterio. That's got to be it this time, though. Two, three, less than three minutes. Shinsuke Nakamura picks up his first win 
I believe, still statistically eliminated from the recliner league. As the current leader over here is Jey Uso with nine points. And if he wins again tonight, that'll put him at 12. And there's no possible way for Shinsuke or Dirty Dominic Mysterio actually to get to that level with what matches they have left. Coming up right now, though, main event time is Dave Batista taking a break from filming from Dune. It's here once again to try and move his way up the rung. Six points to his name. The amount of pyro we fire off for this man, we could probably hire another wrestler, hey, eh? or another commentator, maybe. Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. No, bad reference. Um. However, that being said, as I just mentioned, Batista six points has won two out of his three matches so far in this league. However, his opponent tonight is the man who went through five tables in that Intercontinental Championship match to start things off at Backlash. Is here tonight. Three weeks in a row, this man has been undefeated in this tournament. So the real question right now, folks, is does Jey Uso go on to win four? Or does he lose tonight against Dave Batista, tying them up for first place with nine points? That is the real question. And I guess we are about to find out as Jey Uso is looking to get the crowd hyped up and ready and behind him as he is the main event five time table man and looking to become the five time undefeated man. Turning his reputation from zero to hero, undesirable to undisputed. As uh, to quote a friend of his and the, uh, well, current NWO leader, Cody Rhodes. As Jey Uso goes straight for the throat of Batista, taking him down with a chop directly to the jugular, it looked like. Kick to the face, but Batista rolls out of the way. Batista's got some weight that he can throw around. Jey Uso's got to be very careful with what he's doing here and he gets dropped with a back suplex immediately collar and elbow tie up up on the shoulders now of dave batista jay Uso fighting his way out with some elbows to the forehead grabs him ducks under ddt taking down the big man and once you can get him off his feet that's a whole another avenue that you can take drop kick to the side of the head batista rolls to the outside to reset but it looked like uso might have been thinking some sort of suicida there didn't go for it super kick dave batista is down and out jay in the corner waiting splash in the corner bulldog nope just throws him down Jey Uso making quick work here. Dave gets him hung up on the ropes. A couple of quick, quick punches there to the side of the head. Down goes Batista. Scoops him up. Neck breaker off the leap and sliding in for that way at that pin attempt as Charles Robinson comes in two count. Batista needs a little bit more to take him down than that. And it looks like Jey Uso's going for more. Big splash. Uso splash from the top. That should have been a rope break, but ref's not looking. Three count. Jey Uso just wiped out Batista in record time. Jey Uso, folks, 12 points in this tournament. Four weeks undefeated. The highest amount of points in the entire tournament as Jey Uso goes on to next week. 
where he gets to take on Braun Breaker. But in the meantime, we'll see you guys on Friday for SmackDown. I hope to see you there.